the upside of an injury. Now, when you're very active in a modern world, it's very easy to get injured time to time. Injury, I'm not talking about serious debilitating injuries, but like little nagging pains, you know, something around the knee, something around the head, around your ankles, and all those little annoying things. Now, generally talking, when you go to a normal physician, what's going to happen? They're going to prescribe to you an anti-inflammatory. Maybe, let's talk about your knee, for example. They're going to prescribe a knee brace to you. And a lot of people like to go this route because it immediately gets rid of the pain. People don't really um, embrace the idea that pain is really a guide for us to tell us that something is not really working efficiently in our system. When you deal with the anti-inflammatory, it gets rid of the pain very fast. Sometimes when people are in pain, they have a bigger tendency to really look at and try to find a core of the issue. Like for example, if you're very stiff, um, stretching is annoying. Doing it on the regular basis to increase the range of motion around certain areas in your body, it takes time to increase the flexibility. And people are just lazy and uh, they don't do it. When they are in pain and they understand it happened because of certain stiffness, um, they have a much bigger motivation to get things back to normal, back to a healthier way. Um, a bigger range of motion, for example. So pain is a great guide. Now, when you create an artificial aid, like a knee brace, for example, what it does, you add an extra set of stabilizer muscles around the joint. Now, is this a good idea or is this a bad idea? When someone has some really serious pain, getting rid of the edge of the pain is not a bad idea, so maybe wearing your knee brace is, it has its use. But what happens is a couple of things happen. One of them is a lot of people psychologically get hooked on these kind of aids. And the problem is longer you wear it, what starts to happen is um, your dynamic capability of the joint, let's just stick with the knee, uh, you maintain using it. You keep exercising, maybe running, doing squats, lunges. Um, so the dynamic capabilities you're maintaining. So the muscles that dynamically move uh, the knee joint uh, keep working. But the stabilizing aspect of your knee now has an aid. So you're creating little by little an imbalance between the dynamic function of the joint and the stabilizing function around all the tissues around the, around the joint. So you want to be very careful with these kind of aids. Um, so again, I'm not saying don't use these tools, but be very cautious and very aware of it, what they can create. A little pain might be a great guide for you to remind you that you're doing something wrong and you need to change certain things you do. Okay? So this is the theory or the upside of pain and injury.